I am so excited to see this piece. I found a pair a little while back and they sold so quickly. I've been hoping to find another one. This one is amazing. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning here in Las Vegas. And Jake and I just dropped a huge load of packages off at the post office. And now we're at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. What are you going to look for, Jay? Uh, maybe something from Miley first and then something to sell and then something for me. That sounds like a great plan. We're parked in front of Goodwill. It's right there. This is the one at Rainbow and Cheyenne. If anyone has any requests of smaller thrift stores or privately owned uh, thrift shops that you would like me to visit in Las Vegas, please let me know. I'm running out of ideas and Jake specifically requested to go to Goodwill. So that's why we're here. Let's go in and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. <laughs> We are walking up to Goodwill. We're really excited. Hopefully we can find some treasures and they might even be restocking this morning. So let's look through the window. Can you see what the color of the day is? I think it's blue. Thank you so much. Where have you been? <laughs> Good to see you. Let's grab a cart. Oh, look how busy it is. Look. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite Goodwills. They're friendly and greet you when you come in. It's clean and organized, and they take great care wrapping your treasures at checkout. I'm having a look in the jewellery counter because last time I was here I found a rearing stallion bolo tie and so many of you were interested in purchasing it and asked me to look out for anything else horse related in jewellery. I'm having a look but I don't see anything else with a horse on it today but I will definitely check the jewelry counter every time I come in and keep an eye out. Let's make our way back to the hard goods section of the store because hard goods are my favorite things to sell. I often get asked why I don't pick up certain things for resale, clothes and plates and dishes, for example. I like to shop for, research, list and ship things that are really interesting to me. And if I buy things that I'm not really interested in, I find that I get a huge profit pile accumulating and I don't enjoy listing those things at all. I love the job I do and I have the absolute power to keep it enjoyable and interesting every single day by limiting the things that I pick up to things that interest me. Like this pumpkin spice cup, look at the colors of this. It's actually a rubber material by Sillapint. I have never seen this brand before, but it's something that's interesting and fun and I'm gonna pop it in the cart. I don't even have my thrifting Vegas blanket in the cart yet. I'm so excited to get through this first aisle and have a look to see what they have. I'm rounding the corner and I immediately see something that is very, very interesting to me. Look at this. It looks to be vintage Asian, possibly Japanese. Let's see. It's little sea creatures, little shrimp and crab and fish, 
with uh, what look like lotus flowers on a horn. There is some damage to the little creature's legs, but it's really, really old, very delicate, and uh, some damage on a piece like this is to be expected. But you know, at the bottom of the sea, it's a pretty treacherous environment, so little creatures often lose limbs anyway. It's so unique, so interesting. I really love this piece. Just can't leave it behind, so let's pop it in the cart. I've got my thrifting Vegas blanket all set up to keep everything safe. Jake has spotted two white cats on different shelves here. He says he doesn't want them for resale, but he wants them to be together, so someone will take them both home. He does, however, want this bobblehead of Mayor Oscar Goodman. He was the previous mayor of Las Vegas here. Now Mayor Goodman's wife, Carolyn, is in office. And he thinks this is a good item for resale. Good job, Jake. Let's get that in the cart. <laughs> Let's keep going here. It's a little poinsettia ornament. Lots of figurines. I do like this doggy hook, but sadly, one of the dog's ears is broken. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's a Franken uh, candle holder there. Someone has created that out of glass tiles and a bowl. Some baggies. This is potpourri in here. And that one is shells and rocks. Always check the top shelf and the bottom shelf. You just never know what you're going to find. It's quite a unique little glass dish. And this looks like half of a cheese dome, possibly. It's very lightweight though, not signed doesn't have its base so I'm going to leave that look at this fun owl oh he's Burton and Burton he's very fun these used to sell quite well for me so I am going to pop him in the cart and have a look up on eBay solds to see how these are doing there we go some coasters Oh, another one of those little glass trays there. Lots of signs, more tiles. Here is a little glass cruet. It's only $2, but unfortunately it's missing its stopper. I am going to pop this in my cart until we get over to the kitcheny bit section, just to see if by any chance the stopper is on the shelf. Some plates down here, collector plates and bowls. I think I picked this one up last time. It's a bit worse for where the uh, painting is worn on it. Christmas tree candles. Candles are not the thing to ship from Las Vegas in the heat of the summer. They invariably arrive melted. So candles are off limits until November. <laughs> There's a little fairy light. Not glass. The ceramic and porcelain ones don't do nearly as well as the glass ones. pretty canister oh look at this lovely depression glass plate I know I looked at this last time and it still has a crack right there on the edge it's such a shame oh it's really hard for me to leave that it breaks my heart to know that it's going to go in the landfill but unfortunately 
You can't save everything. This, however, is beautiful. This is a vintage, possibly antique uh, cake stand. It is frosted glass and painted on the underside. Really, really pretty. That might have to go in my cart. What is this? Ooh, this is a, uh, a lampshade for a ceiling light. It's a bit scratched up on the bottom. Here we are in the seasonal bits. I'm going to look here carefully because last time I found that gorgeous Mats Johansson little uh, uh, tile horse. It's a pumpkin light, much lighter weight than it would seem. More pumpkin decor. Some fun things. Oh, look at these. I love these. These are just little plastic seasonal bits that you can throw on your uh, holiday table just for some whimsy and fun. Jake has found a Prezi for his sister. He's not entirely happy with it, but he's going to pop it in the cart and see if he can find something better. Lots of Easter baskets, so if you have the room, now is the time to stock up for next year. Fourth of July. More Easter treasures. Lots and lots of eggs. And a wreath. Let's pop around the corner here into the Christmas aisle more wreaths on this end cap these are Christmas though Ooh, this aisle looks a bit busy here we are in the vases lots of clear as usual this has a little bird on it I thought it might be gray goose but it's really really thin and lightweight we'll leave that lots of centerpiece little vases there somebody must have had an event all sorts of florists pieces what is this in here well, this looks like a funky plant stand i wonder why the outside edge isn't glazed it's just a matte red that's odd the rest of it's glazed We'll leave that. Let's keep going into the colored glass. This is pretty. It almost looks like a Fenton ruffle. Unfortunately, the paint is really worn off. It's a very, very rough pontal on the bottom. Looks like a couple of chips too. I'm going to leave that. Making sure I look at everything on the shelf moving things around, picking things up to feel their weight and quality. Let's see. It's a pretty little square painted vase here. I think this is a Teleflora piece. Into the silk plants and flowers. Still lots of poinsettias. Come Christmas, these shelves will be clean. <laughs> Here's a wreath, little doggy paw uh, material. That's quite fun. Holly sprays. And we are into the silver tone metals. have to look carefully through the metals because sometimes things blend into the wire shelving making it hard to see lots of racks quite a pretty basket Some wall decor. What does that say? Mocha. Put that on your coffee station if you like mochas. Ooh, 
sconces and candle holders. There's a little shade. Into the black metals. Not seeing anything jumping out at me today. Let's make our way into the tins and miscellaneous bits on the end here. Oh, look at this. This is a little vintage piece. It's a letter holder that's been hand painted. That is absolutely lovely. 69 cents. Let's get that in the cart. I am so excited to see this piece. I found a pair a little while back and they sold so quickly. I've been hoping to find another one. This one is amazing. It's made from individual strands of silver plated wire that have been grouped together and braided to create a vintage filigree style basket. It has a twisted handle. It'd be perfect for bread, for fruit, and it's only a dollar ninety nine. Let's get that in the cart. I just turned around and on the shelf behind me is another one of these Silipint rubber pumpkin mugs. This is absolutely perfect because now I have a pair. Here's the pumpkin spice and everything nice. And this one says, hello, pumpkin. I'm going to have a look on eBay solds to see how they're doing. As you can see, they're definitely worth picking up. A set of seven here sold for $67. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Clear glass is first. I think I saw Michael Coulter Vintage sell a whole set of these on his live show the other day. Lots of Sunday glasses, cruets, salt and peppers, bowls and plates, bakers. Here's a nice bowl. This is modeled after a vintage style, but it's very lightweight and cheaply made. Some canisters here. This is a replica of an English flan or tart dish. This is a beautiful Seymour Man pedestal cake uh, stand. It's signed, all hand painted. I've sold this pattern in the past. I think it's Flower Garden. Uh, I've sold some plates and mugs. I've never seen a cake stand. So that is going right in the cart. It's lovely. Quite a fun little bowl with a fluted edge. Sunflower piece. It's quite a whimsical 80s look with the sponger design there. Here's a piece of Mexican souvenir pottery. It's a little flan dish, tart dish that looks like Le Creuset, but is not unfortunately. This is Foltzgraf. Lots of crazing on that. Salt and peppers. Here is a little candle plate. That's threshold by target. More faults graph in the same pattern here see if we can make a spot 
for that bowl. There we go. Let's put them all together. That's better. This is a cheese slicer. It's a bit worse for wear. It's got bits falling off. I don't, don't know where that goes. I wonder if that's supposed to screw into this handle here. Hmm. Maybe not. It's a bamboo steamer. Oh, I love my Vegetti here. You can um, spiral cut zucchini or any kind of salad stuff. It's really fun. Oh, look at this. This is a single salt shaker. No chips or cracks. It's an English design, only $2. Let's pop that in the cart. Those can be used for displaying hat pins. Or one of my subscribers told me that she uses it uh, to attract fruit flies with a little bit of vinegar, which is a really good idea. Pots and pans, travel mugs, again I'm checking every shelf up high, down low, making sure I see everything, some wine cork sealers. Some bamboo placemats here. Oh, what are these? These are, oh, these are little cheese uh, markers. They're Pier 1 imports. You pop them in your cheese display, your cheese platter, and you can put a little paper sign to tell you what sort of cheese it is. Those are worth picking up. Big stack of these bamboo placemats. It's a baster. Oh, wooden spoons. I can always use more wooden spoons. Let's grab those. Some salad tongs. Let's go back over here to the Christmas aisle and the wood and baskets and plaques here just to see if there's anything worth picking up. So many things to see, all sorts of baskets. This is a nice weave, nice heavy duty basket. It's a nice plaque. I'm looking over the shelves for a second time and I noticed this lovely art pottery terracotta heart. It's beautifully done. I love the design. It's signed on the back. Jake just went to pop that sequin heart back on the shelf because he found something he liked a little bit better for his sister. So when he comes back, I'm going to tell him that I like something on the shelf and we'll see if he can pick out what I chose. Just having a look here to see if there's anything else. Oh, here he comes. So I told Jake there's something on this shelf that I liked. And he went right to it. That's it, my love. The beautiful heart. He really likes it too. It's, yes, a really nice piece. It is. And it is signed Isabel Bloom. You can have that for one of your things. <laughs> Good job, bud. 
I must have missed this on my first go around. It's hiding on the doll boxes. Look at this gorgeous reproduction of a Victorian wedding fan. I absolutely love the colors of this. Look at the pansies on there and the beautiful Victorian ladies in their hats. Each little paper of the fan has a different message on it. It is reproduction. Let me see if I can show you the little stamp on the back there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I think it says old print factory. Yes, old print factory reproduced in the USA. It's only $2. It's an absolutely lovely piece. Hey mom, I think somebody made this. Let me see. That is gorgeous. I can sell this. I think so too. That's a great find. Well done. Uh, this is one dollar. Here we are in the mug section. Quite a lot on the shelves today. This pattern is a casino giveaway piece. You find those in every Vegas thrift store. This is a Callahan mug, a sort of uh, cartoon. It's a little interesting to me. I think I might look that up on eBay just to see if it's a desirable piece. It's a whole set of these blue paisley mugs set of black mugs just scanning through for anything vintage any little English teacups that have value this mug has a cozy a Christmas tree cozy that's really fun at one time those lights may have lit up Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Let's take a stroll through the lamps, through the small kitchen appliances. On through the little picture frames. Here is quite a nice tile, but I think it's a very modern piece. quite heavy. I do like the colors though. That's a nice green. And finally, the large art pieces. I'm going to have a flip through and I'll insert some music for you here.
We had a really successful trip, don't you think? Yeah. Do you want to show everyone what you found? Uh-huh. Okay. So first, I got this phone holder for my sister, Miley. And I think she'll really love it. It's a unicorn thing, like a unicorn phone holder. And oh, that's yeah. fun. And I so really like think that. that she'll love it. And then I also got, um, I got for it to sell, I got this, uh, bowl with flowers in it. I think it's a, it hangs on the wall, honey. Oh, well, it hangs on the wall. Somebody thing. made that. I think it's really yeah. cute. It's quite old, isn't it? Yeah really dirty and we need to wash it and I'll do it. I'll oh wonderful it. okay and what and did you pay for that? paid a dollar and I'm gonna ask twenty dollars. Nice it's gorgeous I think it's quite old. Yeah. It has a signature on the back so in the hall we will see if we can figure out what the uh, signature says when it's nice and clean. What next do you have? Next, I have this heart. With oh, that's pretty. So, 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 and I think it has a signature. It maybe? says Isabel Bloom, 2007, USA. Yes. You know what I like about it? I like the way it has the ribbon, and then the ribbon matches the little heart at the bottom. Yeah. That's really cute, Jake. And what did you pay for that? Sixty-nine cents, I think. Uh -huh. I'm gonna ask. Fifteen dollars. Perfect. Do you have one more thing? Uh, yep, I have one last thing that I think you guys will think that's really cool. <laughs> Oscar. It's Oscar Goodman. And who was he, do you know? A tennis player. No, he was actually the last mayor of Las Vegas, Oscar Goodman, and now his wife, Carolyn, is our mayor. So that's a really fun thing. It says, Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, Mayor Oscar B. Goodman. Tennis channel open. That's a fun one. <laughs> what did you pay for Mayor Goodman? And I paid two dollars and I'm gonna ask 15. Nice. That's perfect. Well done, dude. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you for coming with me. <laughs> Bye. Here on my counter is everything Jake and I found at Goodwill. And it is in his usual spot, checking out what we bought. He's doing a really good job supervising. Hi there. Ziggy is here too the Ziggy spot on the cat tree in the windowsill of the master bedroom. This is his favorite spot. He gets morning sun and he gets to look out of the window all day long. First, I want to show you how lovely these three pieces look together. I've got the reproduction Victorian fan with the frosted cake stand that has paint on the underside, along with the single shaker. I think these are either pansies or African violets. The colors go beautifully. It just looks like a lovely little display this fan is fabulous. It opens out. It says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead. Walk beside me and just be my friend. This is a, such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. You could frame it. You could hang it on the wall. 
You could just have it as part of your display. It's attached together with ribbon. I paid $1.99 for it and I'm going to ask $15. This little single salt or pepper is by Crownford Giftware of New York. Fine bone china made in England. It's missing its stopper, but that would be easily replaceable. I just love the transfer wear flowers on here. And it's a really good size. So as I mentioned in the video, you could use it to display hat pins or um, fill it with apple cider vinegar and keep the fruit flies at bay. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $15. I absolutely love the effect that the uh, reverse painting has when it comes through this frosted glass. The flowers in yellow, green and blue are just gorgeous and it's just a stunning pedestal. It's quite heavy, does have a little bit of wear on the back, but still beautiful piece. I paid $4.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25. Back here we have our Seymour Man pedestal cake stand. I mistakenly stated that it was hand painted but in looking at it, it appears to be um, transfer wear of an original design. The mark says Garden Flowers, original watercolour by hmm, C.C. Foy, possibly? Seymour Man, Inc. This is such a cheery design, beautiful flowers with a butterfly, just adds a pop of colour to your counter and any type of cake would look absolutely gorgeous on there. You could also use it for cookies or cupcakes. Back here we have our super duper pair of Sillipint cups. They're a sort of a silicon rubber, they're squeezy, obviously non-breakable. I just love the colours of these. They remind me of Play-Doh and how we used to squish all the different colours together to make a blend. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. The other one says hello pumpkin. They are so fun, a really good idea. For children or outside, Sillipint is the brand. I paid $1.99 a piece. I'm going to ask $25 for the pair. Back here we have our silver plated basket. I absolutely love these. It looks like filigree work. The strands are woven together to create this very delicate, almost Victorian looking basket. Wonderful for bread, or fruit or veggies, or even a display of vintage ephemera postcards. I could pop this fan in there. And that looks absolutely lovely, doesn't it? I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25. Sticking with our vintage theme, here is a lovely little letter holder that somebody has painted with a little mailbox and ivy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous little design. I absolutely love it. It's so simple, yet so lovely. I paid 69 cents for this. I'm going to ask $15. Here we have our cheese service set, the aluminium. And what you'll do is on your cheese display, you'll take these and you'll use the little 
uh, pins to push them into your cheese. And then it also comes with some little cards. I think there's quite a few. You can write your own. There's cheddar, which is a little bit dirty. Cheddar and Swiss. Here's a blank one. You pop that in there. Or like this, however you'd like, or you can make new ones, and your guests will know what sort of cheese you're offering. They're really fun, and they also are handy, I have learned, to um, hold onto the cheese like so while you're trying to cut it so it doesn't scoot around the cheese board. Really nice, fun accessory for the holidays or dinner parties. Cheese service set. I paid two ninety nine. I'm going to ask fifteen dollars. There's a couple of things for me at the front here. I picked up these Happy Harvest table scatter little plastic full leaves, pumpkins and acorns. I love to put uh, this type of thing on the table during the holidays just to add some whimsy and fun. And one can never have enough wooden spoons, especially when they're blue tag, half off, 50 cents each. Last, but by no means least, we have Jake's finds of the day. He did phenomenally well today. <laughs> he found a bobblehead of ex-mayor of Las Vegas, Oscar Goodman, the Tennis Channel Open, this is a great one. I couldn't find one like this anywhere on eBay. So what I think I'm going to do is list it for him. I'm going to list it high and uh, be open to offers and see what, what happens. He paid $1.99 for it and I think I might be able to get him $20 to $25. This is a gorgeous signed piece by Isabel Bloom, 2007, USA. Really lovely quilted patchwork heart. My favorite part is the ribbon and the fact that it matches the little heart at the bottom of the piece. So whimsical and fun. I absolutely love this. I believe Jake paid 69 cents for it. And he said he wanted to ask 15 but I think he could probably get $20. This is my favorite piece that he found all by himself. He's cleaned it all up with soap and water, a toothbrush and some cotton swabs. He was so careful. He did a lovely job. I'm really, really proud of him. Uh, on the back, it's signed Sylvia. There's no date. But it does appear to have some age to it. It's quite crazed. It has a, a Capa de Monte feel. The raised um, flowers are absolutely lovely. There's no damage to them, amazingly, probably because they're set in to this frame. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. He paid a dollar for it. And uh, I believe he was going to ask 20, but again, I think he's a little bit low and he could probably get 25 to $30. I almost forgot our lovely underwater uh, vintage Asian piece here. It's just gorgeous. I put it on this shelf for safekeeping so it wouldn't get damaged anymore. We've got crabs and shrimp fish and uh, all sorts of lotus blossoms on a piece of horn. I'm not sure whether this is authentic or not. What a great piece. As you can see, there is some damage. Our prawns are missing legs, as is our crab. And this shrimpy is missing a pincer. Still, lovely piece. I paid $3.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Jake and my trip to Goodwill and the haul. Please, if you're interested in anything you see here, send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and the price I quoted, and I will email you back. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I am so excited to announce the arrival of my new Thrifting Vegas merchandise. I've worked with Teespring to bring you sweatshirts, tank tops and t-shirts and they are available on my homepage under the store tab. The link will take you to teespring.com. Thank you so much for your support.